hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is sky tech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create um you know a click pop-up for your website now this pop-up you can let it show anything that you want so for instance let's say you have a website like this okay and then when somebody clicks on this shop now there is a pop-up that pops up over here and that is exactly what i'm going to show you how you can be able to do it so if you are interested in this video please don't go anywhere stick around and let's jump into the video all right guys so this is um you know the website that we're going to add a pop-up to so as you can see over here on this um website now when we click on shop now what it does is it takes us to the products page okay but we don't want it like that we just want a, a simple pop-up to show on the um you know on the home page for us so we're going to go back over here and then we we'll, we are going to add a pop-up on this side okay now of course this website was created with elementor so everything that we're going to do we're going to use elementor so we are going to go back to our we're going to go to our dashboard over here and then what we are going to use to create the pop-up we're going to install some few plugins so make sure that you have elementor installed and then go to plugins over here click on add new and then we're going to install another two um you know plugins for for us to be able to create this um website now the first plugin is we're going to search for anywhere elementor so just search for any where elementor okay so um make sure that you you search for that and then you install it so as you can see over here anywhere elementor i've already installed it but with you just click on install and then activate okay click on it and then also search for exclusive so search for exclusive add-ons add for elementor okay so exclusive add-ons for elementor search for it and then also install it so just click on install now and then click on activate to activate it exclusive add-ons for elementor search for it now now that you have these two things um, installed and then activated now we can go ahead and then start um, you know with our with our pop-up pop now um, to create a pop-up all what you need to do is to go ahead and then go to anywhere elementor over here the AE ele a template over here and then we're going to click on what add new over here now we're going to create a page at this um you know anywhere elementor and then use it to uh, to add the pop-up that we want to what uh, want to add so let's um you know name this one as pop-up so i'm going to name this one as pop-up okay and then i'm going to publish it and then after publishing i'll click on edit with elementor to edit the 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 page to edit the page now the next one is um so let me just click on edit with elementor over here to edit the what the page so i'm going to um you know click with edit with elementor to edit the page that we're going to what that we're going to create okay guys so this is the page that we are going to that we're going to edit so um, i'm just going to um click on settings over here and then make the page layout as what elementor full width okay so that i'm not going to have any um you know by kitek or date or anything over here now i can um i want to what i want to um you know you can decide to use elementor to create the page but i have um a page that i want to want uh, i want to copy it element or its content to this particular what, this particular page okay so i'm going to go over to that page okay so i'm going to go back to the dashboard and then i'm going to go to that test page that i created already for this um you know purpose for the purpose of this website okay so now i know a lot of you knows um how to create you know um, website with elementor but this is just um a test um, page that i created just for the purpose of the word of the website so um i'm going to go and then pick the test page so this is it as you can see i'm going to edit with elementor and then i'll just copy the content of that place of that um you know page and then bring it to this page this pop-up page that we are what that we are creating 
now with you you can decide to create your own page anything that you want okay you can even decide to add um, a template that you want but i just have a template already i just want to copy its content and bring it over here you can use the element over here or the widget over here to drag and drop and create your own what your own um, template and then after creating it we move on to the next one. so um this is the template that i'm going to copy its content um let's wait for it to load okay guys so this is a template that i'm going to what i'm just going to copy now i'm going to um just right click on it and then click on copy and then i'll come to the pop-up page that we are creating and then just right click over there also and then just um, you know click on paste to paste it so i'm going to paste it over here so guys as you can see this is the template that we are going to uh, that we are going to use the pop-up template that we are going to use now of course with you you can design it anyhow you want but um the most important thing is what i'm going to show you from here now after designing your pop-up template now click on um you know the edit session over here the six dot over here and then make sure that you change this one from whatever it is to what minimum height and then with the minimum height make sure that you put it to what to zero okay put the minimum height to zero now go to style over here click on style and then go to background overlay okay make sure that you have the back set the background overlay now over here um set the overlay to white okay set it to white and then also increase the opacity to one okay so that it wouldn't be transparent whenever the pop-up comes up okay unless maybe you want to make it transparent now when we are done with the overlay go to advance over here and then with the advance you can set up your what your um you know um your patterns okay so with a pattern um you can set up the top anyhow you want it okay and then the bottom also anyhow you want it depending on um, whichever way that you want it but you can decide to set it up anyhow so let's say i want to set it up at 50 50 okay so that there's going to be a small space over here but if you don't want any space you can just give it to it here as what as zero and then or maybe let's say 10 let me put here 10 and then put here also what um 10 okay so depending on how you want it now of course you can you know decide to um make this also um style this one also give it any how that you want to give it any style that you want to give it so maybe you want to what increase or reduce or whatever it is that you want to do so let's say the border radius you want to make it um let's say 20 okay so you can give it a corner radius of what 20 and then you know anything that you want you can what you can do it um if you want to give it a box shadow you can also what do that okay depending on what depending on what you want to do so um, i'm still going to go over here and then with the over here i'm going to give it um the 50 and over here also i'm going to give it what 50 okay so when i'm done with it i just click on what update to update it okay now i can go click here and then what um you know exit the page okay to go um and then pick a short code and then use it on the what on the um you know the what we want to what what we want to use it on the page that we want to use it on remember that we want to um use it over here okay this particular place over here so that is exactly what we are going to do so we're going to go back to ae template that is the word anywhere elemental template so um you know just click on it over here to view all the templates and then you see that the template that we created that is the pop-up template that we created will be what will be there okay now the, the amazing thing about this plugin is that um anytime you create a template you get a short code for that particular word template okay so this is the temp uh, the short code that we are going to copy so let's copy the short code over here so we're going to copy the short code and then we go to what our um, home page where we want to add the word the the pop-up so i want to add a pop-up over here okay so to do so what we're going to do is um, we will delete this one and then add a new um, button over there so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this nine dots um you know icon over here and then we're going to search for search for pop-up okay just search for pop-up so you see the model pop-up over here the model pop-up over here just drag it and then bring it 
over here okay so now that it is over here now all what we need to do is to uh, to you know edit it and then make it our own so this is the pop-up that um the the button that will create the pop-up for us as you can see over here now the type of model now we don't want an image we want what a short code okay so we're gonna click what short code over here so as you can see this is a short code now what kind of short code do we want now we're going to paste in the short code that we copied from the template ae template anywhere template over here paste the short code over here and then now we can style the what the button so um you know you can give it the content with and blah 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 all those things now the button name we're going to make it what shop now okay now with the button um you know um, icon we'll click over here and then we're going to search for what shop and then we will choose one of this um you know shop icons and then click on insert to insert the icon over there so now that we have the icon also inserted now don't worry it's gonna come it's just you know loading slowly okay so now that we have the icon um, inserted and the shop everything done now what we're going to do is um you can you know go and then you can check out the settings um the overlay the close you know if you want it to have what um close while while click or outside or whatever it is and then um this one also link anything so if you want to link anything um you can do so over here now we are going to go to style over here to style our button okay so we want it to align at the left side okay and then also um if you want to enable fixed height and weight you can do so i'm not going to do so i'm just going to enter my own um thing over there okay so um with a pattern you can what you can do it but i'm going to enter um 10 and then also 10 okay now um with the width i'm going to what um you know reduce the width over here so that i'm going to have something like this let me increase it a little bit okay something like this and then i'm going to what make here all zero so that i'm not going to have anything so something similar to what, this button over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this button from here so i'll delete this button so that i'm just going to have this one over here now of course if i click over here and go to style i can be able to style the what the the button so this is how the model is going to be like but let me just go and then style it so i'm going to go and then style the what the um you know the the button so um the text i'm going to give it black okay and then the background I'm also going to give it to it white okay now when i hover on it um i want the text to also um let's say be black okay so i can change it to anyhow i want a hey, let's say be white and then the background um should be black okay that is exactly how i want to do something like that something like this and that is it so i think i'm okay with it i can click on what update now to update uh, my changes that i have what i've done and then we can go ahead and then view the page so let's um you know go ahead and then view the page so we're gonna what click over here to view the page in a new um you know tab i mostly do this because if i have to do some changes i don't need to open a new page again that is why i almost mostly open it in a new tab so let's um you know let it load and then let's see the changes that we've done and let's see a beautiful pop-up that we've created okay guys so now that we have um you know the page has loaded for us now we can go ahead and then click on um, the shop now to see the beautiful pop-up so as you can see everything works perfectly fine for us okay and now if i can click outside to close it or i can also click on the close button over here to what to closes this is how you can add a pop-up to you know um, a button a link or anything that you want to what that you want to add to thank you for watching and see you in the next video please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel like this video and comment below if this video really helps you thank you bye bye